Hey everyone, Mike here with RC Four Wheel Drive. Let's take a minute and talk about leaf springs. They're super simple in design, they've been around for centuries, and they're commonly used in the automotive, trucking, and heavy equipment industry. Our Trail Finder 2 and Trail Finder 3 series trucks both use leaf springs in the rear suspension and the front suspension. Follow along in this video and I'll show you a few tips on tuning the suspension on your TF2 and your TF3. Our ultimate scale shocks come with an inner spring installed in them. Removing this spring is one of the options for tuning your Trail Finder 2 suspension. We'll start with the front shock on the Trail Finder 2. With the front wheel removed, all you have to do is unscrew the center portion of the shock from the cap, remove the spring, and thread the center portion back on the cap. On the Trail Finder 2 rear suspension, I found it easier just to remove the shock from the chassis. Keep an eye out for the small spacers at each one of the shock mounting points. Now that the shock is removed, unscrew the top cap and remove the spring. Make sure you hang on to the springs. You may need them for future tuning. I'm going to remove the springs from the other two shocks and do a quick test. Here's a test I ran before I removed the inner shocks from the Trail Finder 2. Notice how the back wheel comes up? Now here's a test after I removed all four inner springs. The back wheel stays down. Another option for tuning your Trail Finder 2 is by removing the helper spring. This is the smallest spring in the bottom of the leaf spring pack. I found an easy way to remove the spring. Remove one of the screws on the axle and rotate the spring over to the side. And reinstall the screw using a non-permanent blue thread locker. With the one screw reinstalled, and the spring rotated over, now you can remove the other screw and remove the spring. Reinstall the rear shock using the small spacers and repeat the steps on the other side of the chassis. Keep the inner spring and the helper spring in a safe place for future tuning. That wasn't too bad. I'm going to remove the helper spring from the other side. Watch how easy it really is. When tuning the suspension on any vehicle, it's not always necessary to make the same changes on the front suspension as you did in the rear. Weight distribution is always a factor and should be considered. On the Trail Finder 2 Series truck kits, the motor, the servo, and the transmission are all mounted in the front. I would consider some field testing before removing the helper springs on the front suspension. Tuning our Trail Finder 3 is very similar to the Trail Finder 2. On the Trail Finder 3, we've added U-bolts that hold the front and rear axle on. Our ultimate scale shocks on the Trail Finder 3 series come from the factory without the inner springs installed. So for this portion of the video, we're just going to remove the helper spring. On the TF3, I just removed the lower screw from the rear shock and pushed it over to the side. Then I removed the four nuts from the top of the U-bolt plate. Next, remove the screw in the U-bolt plate that holds the leaf springs in position. Now you can slide the helper spring out of the pack, reinstall the center screw on the U-bolt plate, and evenly tighten down the four nuts. Reinstall the lower shock screw, and you're good to go. And just like the Trail Finder 2, the Trail Finder 3 series has most of the components mounted towards the front of the vehicle. Removing the front helper springs is also a tuning option. If you choose to do so, follow the guidelines that we did for removing the rear springs and you'll be in good shape. 
And remember to hang on to the spare parts. As you add scale accessories to your vehicle, it's going to need to be retuned. Have fun everyone, and drive it like you built it.